with Plant Based Dads. I'm Tim. I'm Joey, and this is a the last Baking with Tim episode of the year, and the last of the well, uh, yes. well yeah, I 2022, mean, yeah, yes, yes. yeah, and uh, the last uh, the holiday baking series, right for 2022, right. Um, a, we first want to thank our uh, uh, subscribers uh, for sticking with us yeah. uh, this long, and a special thanks to all of our. Uh, uh, Financial supporters, Patreon and PayPal. Um, if you are one of those supporters, you know that you get these videos to two days early, which is yep. kind of really all I have to give at this point. And uh, well, speaking of the end of the year, this is the last episode with Little Red. Yes, Little Red, because it's Christmas Eve yes. right, when we're filming this, and Little Red's going back to the North Pole. Yeah. You can check out here Little Red's outfit. Uh, it's from Juliana at theredelfshop.com. It is absolutely adorable. Yeah. Not only we, does he have his little... Uh, go ahead. We saved this one for last. Yeah, he's but, got his little apron on, right? And then he, in his mixing bowl, he's got the wooden spoon and the, uh, the, the rolling pin. And then what has he got in front of him? There, so we've too? got some uh, little spoons, little cutouts for a gingerbread and star and a treat. Almost exactly what we did. Um... Anyway, the bowl, this is just cool. I'm glad we saved this for the last, but... Yeah, this is kind of one of my funnest ones that she sent us. Yeah. Uh, check out the redoffshop.com. They've got so many different outfits. If you go over there, tell Juliana we said hello. Um, yeah. She sends clothes for a little red all year. I wish I had someone yeah. sending me clothes. Like, that would be amazing. But right? Juliana, seriously, for this Christmas season, this holiday season, thanks for sending these different outfits yeah. and sharing that with everyone so they're always so much fun yeah, and you. then of course leroy's back leroy we've got zucchini bread today what do you think of that so we're we have a party tomorrow and we're baking something no oil uh delicious so joey's like why don't you share this with people i don't share enough so we we have today so when we say we're having a party we're not having a party oh, no here. we're not having we're going to we're bringing Right. Our so in, my in-laws are here. My mother D is here. Uh, so we're not having a party here. But we're going to our friend Brenna's house, and uh, Nini will be there too. And uh, she, we're all like friends. And we're bringing. What are we bringing here? So, what are you looking oh. for? I have no idea what's going on. The cut in here. Okay, we'll cut this. So down. when you have zucchini, why not make zucchini bread? It's very much. I blame this bread on Costco because Costco has those. Tim, I don't know. I don't hey, know. You know, we, we have visitors for the holiday season. Like it's chaotic in this I house. Know, but anyway, but anyway. Uh, so Costco has those bags of zucchini that we buy every week, and every week I'm like desperate to use them, right? Uh, and during the holidays, it works out great. We've got these. Tim has these two zucchini breads we make, and every year we like make them both because I love them both. One's kind of a, a chocolatey one. You can kind of see here, yeah. like one's really chocolatey chocolate. and it's absolutely beautiful. Chocolate, chocolate chip. And the other one is a chocolate chip, uh, kind of regular blonde chocolate chip one. With some with, chia seeds. Yeah, with some chia seeds and yeah. other stuff. Both recipes, they're different recipes, but we make them both every year just because we want to use up the the zucchini, right? Yeah. And they're absolutely delicious. So we're gonna take both of these to the party tomorrow. Yep. Um, these beautiful serving platters were a gift from uh, my sister-in-law, Vicky. Thank you, thank you very much yeah, for those. We you. absolutely love them. Um, so we have these loaves, and I wanna say we're, we have them plain, but you absolutely can put like a vegan caramel sauce on this. You can put frosting on top. So you can make this your own at home, but as far as a base, Oil free. We just left it the way they are. All right, so this all looks amazing. I can't wait to see what you did with this. Let's show it to them. Zucchini two different ways. Let's get to the food. First, it's our chocolate chocolate chip zucchini bread. I've got my food processor out, and I've got it turned on, and I've got it set to great. And I'm gonna grate a few zucchini here. I need one cup for the recipe, but I'm making two different recipes, so I'm making two cups total. I'm just stuffing it in there and letting the grater do its thing. And you can see here, it's all nicely grated. That zucchini holds a lot of water, so I'm gonna need to get that out, but we're ready to go. Now I'm taking the zucchini and putting it in a strainer, and I'm just squeezing as much water out of it as I can. I wanna get all that water out before I throw it into the uh, dough and make a bread out of it. I got out as much as I can, and then Tim actually put it in a rag and squeezed out more water. Do whatever you can to get that water out. Now I'm gonna start putting my dry ingredients together. Here I've got one and a third cups of flour. I'm using a stone ground wheat flour, but you can use any all-purpose flour. Next, it's one tablespoon of cornstarch. Then I'm using a one quarter of a cup of cocoa powder. Now it's one teaspoon of baking powder. And after that, I've got one teaspoon of baking soda. Next, I've got one half a teaspoon of uh, salt. We're using Himalayan salt. 
and I'm going to sift all that together. I want to go through this process because I don't want any lumps in here. After that, I'm going to grab my whisk and I'm going to whisk all this till it's all combined. It should combine together really nicely. I'm going to set that aside and get out another bowl. And it's time to mix my wet ingredients. Here I've got one quarter of a cup of non-dairy milk. I'm just using Planet Oat. Next, I've got one third of a cup of unsweetened applesauce. Then I'm using three quarters of a cup of organic sugar. Now it's one teaspoon of vanilla extract. After that, it's one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And now I've got one ripe banana that I've kind of mashed up with a fork. I'm just going to drop that right in there. And I'm going to use my electric mixer here to mix all that up till it's nice and smooth. You want it to be really nicely combined. You can see here it's looking pretty good. Now I'm adding the wet ingredients right to my dry ingredients. And here I'm just mixing it up with the wooden spoon slowly so it doesn't get everywhere. And then I'll pick it up until uh, I've got a nice wet kind of dough forming. Now I'm taking my zucchini and tossing it in there. And I'm using my wooden spoon. I'm just going to give it a good old mixy mixy to make sure I get it all combined. It's starting to look good right here. And finally, I'm putting in one half a cup of chocolate chips. Again, I'm using my wooden spoon just to make sure I get all of those combined. You can see here, it's looking pretty good. Everything looks like a nice even mix. I want the dough to be mm, somewhat, you know, workable. And right now it's still a little too stiff. So I'm going to add another tablespoon of milk here. You may have to do a few tablespoons. You want to get it so it's kind of a banana bread consistency. Right now it's still too thick. Next, I'm taking my bread loaf pan and I'm putting some parchment paper in here. Then I'm just going to take the whole bread dough and I'm going to pour it in. See this consistency right here? This is what it should look like. It's somewhat pourable. I'm going to pour it in and use my spoon here to kind of get it all evenly distributed. Then I'm going to like bang on the counter a little bit just to get any air bubbles out. Now I'm topping it with a few more chocolate chips and off it goes in the oven. Tim's sliding it into a 350 degree oven and we're gonna let it cook for 55 to 60 minutes. After the toothpick test, I'm gonna pull it out of the oven and man, this looks so good, look at that. You can see the zucchini right through the top of the bread. This looks amazing. After I let it cool for about 30 minutes, I'm pulling the paper away from the sides. Let it cool first before you do this. And the paper came right off, there was no problem. Here you can see I've moved the bread to a plate and again, that was no problem either. And I'm gonna grab my Doll Strong Gladiator Series bread knife here. It has a beautiful serrated edge. I'm gonna slowly cut this bread because it's still warm. I really should have let it sit overnight, but I'm hungry. And I'm just gonna slice this thing one slice at a time to just give you an idea of what it looks like. It should be fully cooked inside with quite a bit of uh, chocolate chips along the way that are melted. And you can see here it's going right through with no problem. And here you have it a beautiful chocolate loaf stuffed with zucchini, which you really can't even see. And look at all those chocolate chips. This looks amazing. Have you ever seen something so beautiful? I absolutely love holiday baking. Oh, wow, that looks really good. But yes. Tim, what if you don't like all that chocolate? Well, we have another option. Here it is. For the blonde chocolate chip zucchini bread, we're gonna start with three quarters of a cup of non-dairy milk. Again, we're using oat milk. We're adding in three tablespoons of chia seeds, and then Tim grabbed the tiniest little whisk you've ever seen in your life, I don't know why, and mixing this thing up. We want to get it all combined so the chia seeds can do their thing. And we're gonna let that sit by itself for about 10 minutes. Then to a medium bowl, we're adding a third of a cup of organic sugar. After that, it's three tablespoons of unsweetened applesauce. And now we're adding one quarter of a cup of maple syrup. Next, it's one half a teaspoon of vanilla, and we're gonna grab our whisk and whisk this all around until it is well combined. Now we're gonna add our chia seed mixture that's been sitting for 10 minutes right to the wet ingredients. And we'll use our whisk to give that a little mixy mixy and get that all combined. Now it's time to add our grated zucchini. Again, it's gotta be really squeezed well. And Tim's just gonna fold this together until it's nicely combined. Now it's time for our dry ingredients. We're just gonna add them right on top of this. We're starting with one and a half cups of flour. Again, we're using the stone ground wheat flour, but you can use whatever you have. After that, it's one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, then one quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Next, it's a half a teaspoon of salt. We're adding a half a teaspoon of cinnamon here, and we're gonna use our spoon just to kind of get this mixed up and combined. You wanna start off slowly so the flour doesn't fly everywhere, and then you can kind of pick it up once it starts combining. You can see here, Tim's kind of just folding and mixing, folding and mixing. It's looking really good. Now we're putting in one third a cup of chocolate chips and Tim's just folding that together to get it all combined. And it's coming along nicely here. Again, right into a uh, parchment papered uh, loaf pan. Same thing as we did before that worked so well. And we'll use our spoon to move it around just to get all the quarters done. And again, bang it on the counter, get any air bubbles out. Same thing as last time. And again, we're gonna top it with some chocolate chips. 
it's looking good. Now it's going off to the oven and this one's gonna cook at 365 degrees for about 55 to 60 minutes. This one cooked about five minutes faster than the other one for us. Again, use a toothpick test to make sure it's done. And here it's coming out of the oven. Oh man, look at that coloring, that brown. Ooh, this looks good. After I let it cool for about 30 minutes, I'm gonna take it out of the pan just by pulling the uh, paper carefully up, lifting and placing down. You, as you can see, it was no problem. And after I let it cool for about an hour, I'm just gonna pull the paper carefully away. You have to let it cool first. The chocolate chips, of course, are still wet, but the rest of the bread is cooked and it's done. So no problem taking that off there. And this time I'm gonna show you how I got it onto the serving platter. It was just me here. I just tilted it to one side and then got my hand under it and pulled the paper off and picked it up and put it right down on the, the uh, platter. It's not fragile, it's not gonna fall apart, but you just have to be careful. It is very sticky and chocolatey. Again, I've got my Dahl Strong bread knife. I'm just kind of cutting some slices here. It's very chocolatey, so, I mean, be prepared for that. But it is firm enough to cut. Just make sure you've let it cool for at least an hour. Oh, and you can see here are those slices. Look how good that looks. This is a beautiful loaf. I mean, check out this, this shape, this color, the chocolate chips. You can see the zucchini right through it. This is a piece of art right here. Oh man, I can't wait to eat this. Both of these breads are gonna be a great addition to the table at this party we're going to tomorrow night. I am so ready to try this. All right, let's give it a taste. And that's how easy that is. Okay, so two really amazing uh, zucchini breads. All right, you can see we've cut them and eaten yes. some of them already. I've been telling the family, like, they can't have any of this because I need to film it. So, but now we can eat it. So I already know it's really good. Yeah. The chocolate one is definitely my favorite, right? But I'm like a chocolate holic. But right? again, if you want to put frosting or caramel sauce on this, it would be even more decadent. Um. Mm. So sometimes, good. Sometimes serving that on the side, people can have the preference. Good idea. They're definitely, because there's vegetables in it, right? They're definitely already rich. I don't know that you need, and with all the chocolate chips, yeah. I don't know that you need to have a caramel sauce, but if you just want it even yeah. like to kick it up a notch, yeah, it's, it's definitely a thing. Um, but this is very forgiving, like mm. banana bread. It's that consistency. Yeah. It's that delicious, so. Holy smoke. Anyway, tomorrow at the party, we're pre-slicing this and then just laying it out, just giving you serving ideas. This is so good. Holy smoke. I know it seems excessive, but we're gonna eat, and plus, I mean, it's the mm. end of the year. Starting January no. 3rd or January 2nd, Monday, our Star Solution Challenge starts. We go right back to like 10 months of like eating really good. And we didn't use oil in this, so we're not that far off our plan. There's just a lot of sugar. I, you know, my parents are here. This is filled with fiber. I mean, literally, you can just put the... Anyway. It's loaded with fiber. Not yeah. only have the wheat flour and all that, but I mean, the zucchini in it. And you can... I exactly. mean, when you look at it, when you look what we were making, you can see the zucchini strands right, right. in it. But it does not interfere with the taste. It so, does not. Um, so I, that's why I, I love these, so... All right, so so the, we're ending the year with two great recipes for baking with Tim here. Two amazing uh, zucchini breads. Zucchini breads, two different ways. Like these are a really good option for your holiday meals, yeah. right? I hear a lot of times like, "What am I going to bring? What can I do?" Th these are two great options. Yeah. Uh, so if, if there's anything left, these people are going to enjoy it, right? <laughs> yes. All right, guys, that's our video for today. Please. Hit that like button, show us some love. Uh, what's not to like? We have two zucchini breads. Uh, hit that subscribe button, click on that bell, you get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Tuesday. And leave a comment below. What kind of desserts are you doing? We did a lot of cookies. We showed you some different cookies. We sh showed you some uh, different breads here. Like, what are you doing for the holidays? And the holidays are almost over. Like, I'm telling you, if you've had, like, had some bad meals and you feel terrible about yourself, enjoy the last few days. The challenge is coming in January and we'll be ready to go. All right? Hey. See you next time. Bye-bye.